Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here, and we are back with a, another tutorial for Divi overlays. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use our URL triggers feature. And uh, this is a, a really cool feature. It was requested by several customers, and so we decided to add it in. Uh, and I, think, I believe it came out in version 1.1. But basically what it allows you to do is trigger the overlay by the URL. So for example, I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. I already have it in my history. So I have the uh, number sign overlay dash 204286, that's the ID of my overlay. And I can refresh the page and it will automatically trigger the overlay once the page loads. And so you might be asking what's the point of that um, but maybe uh, you have a contact form on your page or you have a, a lead form or, or something and you want to link people directly to that overlay, that form, for, for example. Um, but you don't want to have an automatic trigger for everyone. You only want to insert in circumstances. And so you can go ahead and set that up and, and link people to it. Uh, so when they paste it in, it will automatically trigger the overlay once the page loads. And again, the URL bar is covering a little bit of the close button, that normally won't be the case. Um, so it's a, a pretty cool feature, lots of different uses for it, uh, and it's really easy to set up. So for example, um, if you have a trigger on the page, anywhere on the page, whether it's a click trigger or you've already configured a automatic trigger, then you're good to go with the URL trigger. All you have to do is add number sign, overlay dash, and then the ID of the overlay. Um, and so, for example, I have the open overlay, I have this text link trigger here. And so that's why I'm able to just add the overlay 204286, and it will automatically launch the overlay. However, if you do not have the uh, a trigger on the page. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this trigger. So here's that text trigger. Save. Now you'll notice, even though I have the URL configured, it doesn't automatically load the overlay. And so, uh, if that's the case, then you have to go into the back end. So again, just to reiterate, if you're not, don't already have another trigger set up for the page, but you wanna turn on a URL trigger, then you'll need to configure it on the overlay edit screen. And so just scroll down to where it says additional overlay settings, click enable URL trigger, and you have the option of either doing all pages, which will give you the ability to, to trigger it from the URL on any page, or you can only do specific pages. And so I already have garage layout typed in there, but say for example, I didn't, it'll, uh, when you click in there, it'll automatically show your pages and posts, hello world, that's the default uh, WordPress post. And then these are the two uh, pages that I have on this uh, development demo site, for example. Um, and so say you have a website that has a ton of pages, you don't wanna be scrolling through, well, you can just start typing and it will auto complete you can click on it, you can do the same thing for multiple pages, etc. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Go ahead and click update. And now, when I refresh the page with the URL trigger, now the URL, or I'm sorry, the overlay automatically triggers because we've added it to the page via the additional overlay settings enable URL trigger. So that is pretty much it for URL triggers. Very easy to set up. Again, if you already have a trigger set up on the specific page, then you don't need to enable the URL trigger. If you do, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but yeah, it's just one last step if you already have a trigger on that page. If you don't have a trigger on that page, just come here, click check, add it to the specific page you want, or select all pages, and you are good to go. That's it for this tutorial. We will see you on the next one.